Hello good people, today we have another exciting tutorial as always, and today's tutorial is going to be about how to make your own icons. Um, I've talked about it in my past videos, and lately a lot of you have been asking about it, so I figured I'd show you guys how to do it. So I'm going to be changing the icon of the folder in the top right of my screen, and it's titled Hello Good People, and to do that I'm going to need a freeware application, and the link to that will be in the right. So um, the freeware application is called IMG to ICNS, I'm going to open that up, and this is the interface, it's pretty simple, all you have to do is just drag and drop, and I have two types of image files commonly found on the internet, PNG and JPEG, so I'm going to show you guys what happens when I drop my PNG in there, so it makes this ICNS file, and it gets rid of the white background, which is a good thing, because you don't want a white background for your icon. So, to change it, you just have to right-click on it, get info, click on the icon file, right-click, get info. I'm going to zoom in right here, and I'm going to, you guys have to click on the icon right there, and there'll be a blue ring around it, which means you've selected it, so you're going to want to copy that, and you're going to click on the folder, and then there'll be a blue ring around it, and you guys are going to paste. And there, now you can see in the right that my little folder, Hello Good People, has been changed to the black folder image icon that I just made. So that's how you guys do it for PNG files, pretty simple. Now I'm going to show you guys how you do it for JPEG, which is a little bit tougher, but not really. So if you drag it and drop it, you'll get this icon, file, and I'll zoom in again, and you'll see that there's white space behind it. And like I said before, you do not want white space. White space is bad. So I'm going to show you guys how you guys get rid of that white space. So you guys need to take your original JPEG file and drag it into Preview. It's going to open up in Preview. And you guys are going to want to select the arrow right there next to Select. And when you click on it, a little um, menu drops down. And you guys are going to select the last one that says Instant Alpha. And Instant Alpha will get rid of the background for you. So I'm just going to click on the white background and drag it. Um, for this image, I'm going to drag it to about 10%. Um, usually when I get rid of images, it's only around 10 or 15%. So as soon as you let go, the white image background thing, whatever you want to call it, space, gets deleted. So now all you guys have to do is just click Enter and then just click with your mouse. And there it is. Now I'm going to save it. Make sure you guys save it as a PNG file, because as I showed you guys earlier, that's the best for converting. So save, exit out of this, and I'm going to take my new PNG file and drop it into image icons. And now I have this image file with no white background. Um, so Something might happen where after you did the steps that I did and you dropped it into the uh, image to icons and there's still white background on it, as long as you dropped it in as a PNG file after you converted it from a JPEG, there won't be white background once you set it as your icon. So, once again, right click on the folder, get info, right click on the icon, get info, click on the icon and copy it, click on the folder and paste it, and there it is, now it's changed, it's that simple, um, not that many steps, all it is is dragging and dropping, so that's it, uh, take care, um, look at the links on the right, because they're there for a reason, those can be Twitter, and image to icons, and the iMac therefore I am social blog that I write for, and I talk tech, and SIH Winston, and Razorblade1073, and George678, just a bunch of good writers and a lot of good stuff, although most of us just post our YouTube videos, but occasionally you'll get a good blog in there. So, um, that's it. Um, I want to give a special thanks to my 40 subscribers. Um, I've only been doing this for about a month and like two or three days, and I already have 40 subscribers, which is just great. And if you guys would like to see a tutorial, 
or you guys have a cool application or any cool thing you having to do with Mac or tech, let me know. I'd be happy to look at it. If it's an application, I might do a tutorial on it. Uh, so yeah, um, I have Skype. It's Fisher underscore 12, because like I said in my last video, some loser took Fisher 12. So I had to add an underscore. So add me on Skype. Uh, give me a call, because I'm not really sure how Skype works yet. So I'm looking for someone to tell me. So that's it. Skype, Twitter, social blog, image to icons, all that in the right. Um, that's it. Take care.